Welcome to the first thing that has truly excited me on the monitor side of developments since the first time I had a look at a 3D ready monitor. This is the Samsung S27A 850D. And while the name might not be that glamorous and sexy, the product itself definitely is. Now, the first time I had the pleasure of checking out a PLS display was on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. And what I realized was that while I didn't know anything about PLS whatsoever, what I realized was that it just blew everything else out of the water all the IPS displays, including the one on the transformer, the IPS display on the iPad 2, just destroyed them in terms of the color vibrancy, the depth of the blacks and the brightness of the whites, just an amazing looking screen. But I, then I went, well, why is it only on a tablet? Well, now I finally have a monitor to show you guys that has a 27 inch 2560 by 1440 high resolution PLS display and we're going to show you all of the things about it that I think are fantastic in the next few minutes. Now Samsung's pitching this as a professional class LCD and I can see why they would do that for a number of reasons. Uh, number one is the cost. It's not cheap, although I would definitely consider it to be price competitive with other displays out there in the 27 to 30 inch range and with high resolution panels like this. Remember, it is much more expensive to produce a 2560 by 1440 or 2560 by 1600 panel than a 1080p panel. 1080p is not even high resolution compared to those. They're about two times the total resolution that 1080p is. So what that means is higher pixel density. So if you've ever used a retina display on an iPhone 4 or an iPhone 4S, you'll know that pixel density is very noticeable, especially when you are looking at text or looking at images. So Samsung's pitching this as professional. So why? Great for images, not only for the pixel density and the high resolution, which gives you more working space on your desktop, but also for the color accuracy and vibrancy. This is one of the most impressive looking monitors. I've, in fact, I would say, no, I'm just gonna say it. This is the most impressive looking monitor that I've ever had the pleasure to sit down in front of, whether I'm viewing pictures, playing games, watching movies, or even just looking at the desktop. Both Slick and I, remember Slick is my new cameraman, so that's the new nickname you guys are gonna have to remember. Both Slick and I were absolutely blown away by how natural looking everything is on this display. Now I've gushed enough about the PLS panel technology that makes this thing look so great on the screen, but why don't we talk about the actual monitor itself for a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the height adjustable stand so you can see it goes from here, which is quite low down to the desk, all the way up to here, which is quite high up from the desk. We've got our cable management in the back here, which is allowing me to keep my cables out of the way for the most part. It also flips into portrait mode. There you go, just like that. Rotates, or I think this one's called swivel. Yeah, swivels. I'm just gonna move it out of the way of that computer. So I'll show you guys how much it swivels. It's about as much as you would usually need a monitor to. And actually, speaking of swivel, um, I'm just gonna show you guys what the viewing angles are like. So I'm gonna go all the way to this extreme angle, and I'm willing to bet that it actually still looks pretty decent. Out of every LCD monitor I have ever laid eyes on, this one has the closest color reproduction from straight on compared to at an extreme angle that I would have even imagined possible with an LCD. Now we're going to keep moving around. It's got lots of options in terms of inputs. You've got dual DVI in, display port in, as well as your power input on this side. You got all those? All right, I'm going to go ahead and flip it around the other way. And on the other side, you're going to see Yes, it has an integrated super speed USB 3 hub. So there's your input, there's your three outputs. So that means that whether you've got you know, USB drives or peripherals, you can plug all those in. Remember, USB 3 is backwards compatible. We've also got a headphone port as well as an audio in port. You can also see the cable management clip that I'm using to hold on to my DVI as well as my power cable and the power brick. It does need a power brick because part of what makes this monitor so slim, and I'll do my iPhone 4 thickness comparison, so it's about two iPhone 4s thick. Part of what makes it so slim is the LED backlight and the fact that Samsung did not build in the power circuitry and only did the logic circuitry that goes with the display inputs as well as the components that are required to actually drive the panel itself. 
So why don't we see, I've said everything I think I need to say about the monitor except for the gaming experience. We'll get to that in a moment. But let's see what Samsung has to say for themselves. So yes, it's LED backlit, so they are saying it conserves, consumes, conserves energy, which it does. Okay, they're saying it's high resolution, which I already said. Yes, it is high resolution. It gives you more room to work. It's 16 by 9, so that is a good aspect ratio for movies. Personally, I love my 30 inch 16 by 10 monitor, but as soon as you add those extra pixels to the height, it becomes less of an issue. I find 1080p is just not quite enough vertical, and I prefer 1920 by 1200, but at this kind of uh, pixel density, I think I could accept the reduction in vertical space. Picture perfect natural looking images, yes, they're right. See your work from the best possible angle. If anything, I think their illustration here is very conservative. I'd say that from an extreme angle like that, it actually looks more like this image than they're saying it does, which is very cool, pretty much unheard of. This is probably more like it. No matter where you're sitting in front of it, you are going to have a very, very positive viewing experience. And I just figured something out what this, here, zoom out because this is, uh, this is awesome. I couldn't figure out what this block shaped thing on the back was. That's for you to strap in the power brick so that it doesn't take up space. Yeah, so that it doesn't just hang off the back of the monitor like that and look bad on your table the way I've had it looking in this, uh, in this tech tip. So there you go, they did think of that. And where else do we have here? Adjustable height, all that good stuff. One monitor, twice the capabilities. So yes, you have up to three different inputs that you can select. Super speed USB, save energy and see the results with their energy tree, which is kind of a little thing in the on-screen display that shows you how many trees you've saved by using features such as smart motion technology. So smart motion technology, um, apparently I hit the power bar but that's okay, we're gonna keep rolling. Smart motion technology uses this sensor right here to detect when you are in front of the monitor and turn on, and then detect when you move away from the monitor and turn off. So that is a pretty neat little feature, and we're gonna power our system back on here, and then we're gonna get some gaming going on here, and it's going to be awesome for me, but you guys are gonna be looking at it on your own monitor through a camera, so you might not quite get the full experience, but trust me, it's awesome. So I would argue that the features that make this monitor excellent for professional use also make it excellent for gaming. Now I could tell you guys about the specs of the monitor in terms of the response times in milliseconds as well as the, oh, hold on, let me kill this guy. Yeah, there we go. The response times in milliseconds as well as the contrast ratios. But the reality of it is those specs are usually fairly meaningless because they're not comparable from one manufacturer to another, and they're also often not comparable from one line of LCDs, whether it's you know, a professional line or a consumer line, within a single manufacturer from one line to another. So what I will tell you guys is that the color reproduction makes for a great gaming experience. The fact that it is very low latency, even, though, even if you're using the scaler, because this monitor does have a built-in scaler, is outstanding. There's almost no motion blur, which is commonly referred to as ghosting. So it, it is just awesome in that regard. And I mean, what else is there to say about it? Matte screen. So that gives you, once again, you can't get away with a matte screen on a monitor that doesn't have great color accuracy. So you've got the great color accuracy, you've got the matte screen, which it delivers a better experience for gaming in a variety of environments, which isn't going to prevent me from dying. And I just want to thank you guys for watching our NCIX Tech Tips on this amazing new piece of electronics from Samsung, which I am actually personally seriously considering grabbing one of when I have the coin because it isn't cheap, but it is definitely a better experience than anything else I've encountered, whether it's a TN panel, a VA panel, an IPS panel, or whatever kind of panel you want to suggest that I try.